day, Jay. What do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. I have the money on my mind. I have the money in my pocket. Bone marrow roasted. Spread it on the rosemary bread. Lightly toasted. Drizzle with the vinaigrette. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Kakashi Crypto, this house going down. In this episode, we'll be talking about some altcoins which are kind of trending right now, which I think do have further upside. And then we'll be also talking about some crypto news. But before we go into that, let's have a look at the markets. So looking at the top gainers for today, we have Binance Coin. Binance Coin, I believe I recommended this last year. Currently, it's around $73 or so. Um, it's nearly done a 2x Cosmos as well. It has done quite well in the last 24 hours, pumping 18%. Given that the market cap is quite big, that's um, that is still quite impressive. IOTA, uh, my dad was actually talking about this. He was um, asking me to buy it and it's pumped 17%. Zero X, 16% pump. Elrond is on a tear. It's definitely gonna hit $100 now. That's a key psychological level that I think is very much attainable it's only seven dollars away um, pancake swap as well up 10 percent this coin has a lower market cap of around 340 million so um there could be more explosive gains if more funds are to float into it maker as well i remember when i first got into crypto this coin was less than 400 dollars or in and around that range and now it's, it's done pretty much a four no five a six x jesus christ my maths is <laughs> it's been a while guys sorry um but yeah dogecoin i'm surprised about doge you know I, I never really took it seriously like i take it seriously as a meme but not as a, an investment to be honest um but yeah i would stay away from this i know a lot of people have actually bought the top on dogecoin and they are they're hurting right now um so r.i.p their gains let's take a minute of silence Anyway, guys, um, we'll be looking at some of the following coins, IOTA, UMA, Elrond, Alpha Finance, Band Protocol, Bow Finance, and Acropolis. But before we do that, let's get into the news. So we can see here that basically there's been a record amount of 6.5 billion futures open interest for Ethereum, which is basically a very, very good sign. If we go to Ethereum really quickly, then we can see that the chart is, you know, it's basically very, very 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 appealing right now um ultimately we did break out of this ascending triangle i entered a trade here um ultimately if you do want to enter a trade you could try to look for a pullback so here would have been a good time here would have been a good time not that this is financial advice but potentially here could be a good time however one thing you do need to bear in mind is that the ETH cme futures launch on the 8th which is in two days so we could see you know volatility to the downside or to the upside however the fact that we are on the daily right now and we are flipping this ascending triangle as support sort of confirms to me that you know this is a bullish trend and that this is going to continue so we may see some sideways downward action in the next few days or we could see continued pumping to the upside um if we were to look at the macd it would suggest that we have continuous room for growth in the next couple of days and, and weeks um but if you look back at the last crossover on the macd the 27th of september ethereum was it opened at around uh 636 dollars and then it closed on that day or well, it had the high of 717 dollars and ultimately it pumped for the next two weeks or whatever reaching a high of around 1355 which is basically a 2x so could we see something similar more than likely so um for so key levels for you guys to look out for are the following so after drawing a fib retracement i guess these would be the key levels so we've surpassed this level 1400 that was an all-time high um according to the monthly fib by the way um this would be the next level would be around 2200 or so to look at in terms of you know taking profits or whatever after that it gets a bit silly um potentially three and a half thousand then around 4,900 and it says the top of this range could be around 5,700 now is this going to happen is this guaranteed absolutely not I have no idea what's going to happen but looking at you know the growth it, it seems it seems possible very much possible um let's let's see what waiting happens or let's wait and see what happens I should say um but 
you want to be taking profits i guess before that if you're in a long-term trade then i guess you could just let it ride to the upside and look at your you know your indicators so i just thought this was interesting basically this is a story from germany but the police confiscated 60 million worth of bitcoin from a man who refuses to share his password essentially he committed fraud and i believe he implanted like software on people's hardware or people's laptops and computers to mine bitcoin so thereby stealing their their processing power and um, he basically got 60 million out of it and um, yeah they asked him for his password and he refused um, they're saying that you know they've they tried to crack the code to the more than 1700 bitcoin and they actually failed they tried several times but they failed um, now they are apparently saying that he does not have access to his fortune however if his money is on a hardware wallet then it wouldn't be so difficult to um, actually get access to it because all you'd have to do is just if he remembers his seed phrase then just you know set up a new wallet or set up from your seed phrase and then voila you have access so i'm i'm pretty sure he lied to the authorities about this because um yeah like who would who would give away that much bitcoin um so i just thought that was interesting and um yeah i just thought this article would be a just a brief story to for me to cover as well as nigeria actually let me bring this up so basically i'm not sure if you guys know what's going on in nigeria but nigerian banks they are being an absolute well it's not just the banks really it's the government they first of all they the government blocked transactions with people within the city therefore making it difficult for them to live and then they sort of went over to crypto and now basically what the government has done has for every cryptocurrency exchange they have to have a bank a traditional bank okay so what the government has done is they've banned the crypto exchanges from having banking services so it's just made it more increasingly difficult for people to access traditional finance features but this is where you know things like uh the BlockFi credit card then the, the uh, crypto.com debit card uh the plutus card they they come into effect i'm not sure if they're available in those regions of africa but you know the ultimate ability to sort of transfer your crypto into fiat permissionlessly without someone else blocking you um, another thing that they've been doing as well or suggested doing is that you know they would open up a bank in ghana which is just next door and then they would just use the traditional banking features as normal as ghana haven't done anything ridiculous to my knowledge as you know to go to the extent of of banning people from using crypto which i just thought was cool uh, not cool sorry cruel um so yeah let's look at the coins now look at the graphs um so first coin we have is iota iota okay damn so this is looking quite quite juicy to be honest um i would say maybe wait for a pullback let me just draw a quick quick fibonacci retracement and you guys could possibly look for an entry uh market cap for this is quite high but not as high as um you know other coins like bitcoin and ethereum in terms of the golden pocket this is between the 0.618 and the 0.5 fibonacci retracement level which we were in for some time then we went all the way down to the 0.3 eight two fibonacci retracement level so now if you wanted to enter i would say because it's had a significant pump um even though there is more momentum to the upside i'm pretty sure there'll be some consolidation as we you know see in these sort of phases here um ultimately well, let's go back to this place as an example we had a bullish cross on the macd and then the rsi sort of came down so this pullback was a good entry um uh, if this is to come back down like so if i can get the taller if this is to come down like so and then continue pumping i would expect the rsi to sort of do the same and for the macd to continue staying bullish um yeah could be good gains ahead however i would not hold this long term as it's way past this base um the ultimate time to be accumulating was near the 200 ema so this would be in my opinion a short-term hold if you wanted to be really safe you could wait up until the 40 cent levels and the um the 42 cent levels and if you wanted to be really really conservative then you could wait to a wick until the 
the 37 cent levels which is which all correspond to different fibonacci retracement levels the lowest one being i guess the most safe one however this is a very very good sign for you know things to come and given that we are basically in alt season it would not be a bad idea to sort of buy a dip because ultimately that strategy works very very well guys um and next coin we'll be looking at is umar so i forget what the market cap is that maybe it's similar to iota um who knows but um in terms of its pump it's had its pump now it's pulled back it went to this the 0.618 fib level next fib level for it to touch is potentially the 0.5 which would be at the 25.5 cent mark and then in worst case scenario it would go all the way down to the 0.382 which could happen who knows um, and that would be at around the 21 cent level like i said guys these aren't really long-term holds as we sort of missed the opportune entry which is at these accumulation phases um ultimately <laughs> it has pumped um if you are looking for coins that haven't pumped yet please check out my video that i released yesterday i will put, put that somewhere up top um it's basically coins that are looking like this or sort of have had a major retracement um a next coin to look at now this coin this coin has already pumped so enter with caution but it seems to be on a tear and it reminds me of crypto.com last summer it reminds me of celsius throughout the whole of last year it just kept on going on a tear going on a tear now obviously this is very 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 dangerous to enter enter at these levels um to be honest i wouldn't recommend buying at these levels unless it's to have a fat retracement all the way down to the 21 day ema uh which could potentially see you know something like, like this if i'm just to draw it so if it's to retrace to like you know these levels here 80 dollars or so then potentially could be a good entry not a, a long-term hold as like i've said um in the past this coin was a lot cheaper so you don't want to be the basically the higher you buy it the more risky it is okay um in terms of fib levels for everyone if you did want to join the hype train the first one would be the 70 or the 80 dollar mark like i coincidentally said and then the next one would be the 0.618 which would be the 61 dollar mark which i don't think will happen to be honest i think things are going parabolic and this will just continue to surge or trade sideways at a minimum and then the last point of um possible entry i would say which is not really on the cards in my opinion would be the 51 dollar mark um, i'm sure a lot of you probably won't be interested in that um, looking at another coin we have alpha finance so alpha finance in terms of its market cap it is a lot smaller than elrond and all these other coins it's around i believe let's let me just look at it before i say something incorrect so alpha finance is around 40 or 400 million excuse me um currently it has retraced 16 percent and 22 percent in bitcoin terms and also 17 percent in ethereum terms now obviously this is uh this is um retraced in terms of its bitcoin value a lot more than the others because bitcoin has been going on a tear if you haven't noticed it's around forty thousand dollars for one bitcoin i think we're ready to break all time highs um but in terms of the market cap it's already done quite good multiples to be honest it's already done a 90x however it could definitely reach the market cap of 1 billion which would be roughly a 2.5x from here so this would be a short-term play like i said guys it's altcoin season so don't bet the farm on these coins um if we're to look at fib levels and I'm, I'm crying guys because ultimately this is my first bull run and i have admittedly made a lot of mistakes which i'm not going to repeat going forward um number one would be not buying this coin when it was like freaking cents um but yeah alpha finance in terms of fib levels the 7.786 is currently where we're sitting at now which is a retest of the previous resistance which is a very very good sign possible entry on the daily we have had a dip on the macd um, we are sort of setting in a bullish divergence i believe the term is so you can see here i'll try to put up something on the screen but you can see here guys essentially we are setting higher lows oh jesus christ what is that but we are setting higher lows if i can draw and then the rsi is setting lower highs okay or lower lows excuse me 
so ultimately if we go into like a lower time frame like the four hour uh, ultimately i guess where would you say would be an entry um potentially i guess potentially now um like i said you can play with these fib levels the 2.2 dollar mark and then also the 1.8 dollar mark uh, worst case we come down to around the, the the uh, 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level, which would be around the 1.46 mark. However, I don't believe that will happen. I believe it will be something similar to like this retracement here, where we sort of consolidate sideways. Um, like I said, the MACD, it can be quite a powerful tool if you if you know how to use it in accordance with the RSI. So for example, you know, when we do have a crossover on the RSI, so when we do have a crossover on the MACD and then we have a dip on the RSI, that could be seen as a potential entry signal. So for example, you know, we crossed over here, indicating consolidation and yeah, consolidation pretty much. And then the RSI bottomed out here like so. And that was ultimately a good time to buy, which was in accordance with one of the FIB levels, which is 0.618. And ultimately we have had a crossover on the MACD and now we are dipping on the RSI. So this is one potential dip. Could we dip down further? Who knows? I don't think we will. Currently, this is the trending, the current trend line. Excuse me, guys, my, my mouse is a bit messy. Um, this is the, oh my days. Jesus Christ, man, what is up with this mouse? It's like it won't catch the angle. Ah, uh, this is pissing me off so much. Okay, this is the current trend line, guys, as you can see here. Um, quite significant that it's respected it for quite a while, actually. So you could set some limit orders, possibly on Binance, anywhere along this trend line, maybe even a bit below it. Um, but once we do break this um, downwards resistance, I do believe that you know, it could be off to the races for Alpha Finance, um, just to draw it a bit more acutely. But yeah, you can, you can see that quite clearly, guys. Up to you whether you want to jump into that or not. Another coin that we have is Band Protocol. So Band Protocol is a oracle that launched on Binance. It launched on the Binance Smart Chain, I believe. Um, ultimately, if we have a look at Band, look at the market cap really quickly. I believe it's still around 200 million or so. Um, in terms of competing for Chainlink's market share, Chainlink's market value is, is in the billions now. Um, so Band would have to do like a 10X to catch up to Chainlink. And that is definitely possible, but it could take some some time. Um, ultimately, uh, it's, it's about brand recognition, really. Chainlink has, is like the Coca-Cola of the, the Oracle space. There are lots of other competitors that are trying to get that same market share. Will they do it? Who knows? But um, there is... More, there's space for more than one one big dog basically but yeah band is a DeFi coin and DeFi has been a trending topic this season um you can't go wrong with it pretty much um just another pro thing i wanted not pro thing or just a tip i wanted to say is that if you do want to save fees on ethereum then the best time to sort of trade is on the weekend because less people are using their network. And also there's a token called Chi Gas Token, okay? So basically, as Ethereum goes higher in price, so do the network fees, i.e. the GUI. And as that happens, this coin rises in value because it's basically, basically a hedge against Ethereum's gas fees. So if you wanted to have a small speculative play, then you could sort of put some of your funds in this coin. The market cap is very small. Um, do note that when the gas fees go down that this coin will go down significantly in value um, but this coin is basically used in accordance with Jesus Christ it's used in accordance with one inch exchange and um, yeah you can use it to minimize your gas fees just bear that in mind guys um, it has pumped quite a lot to be honest although it has retraced from its all-time high which was just last last night um, yeah 14 hours ago so I do believe this coin has further upside because if we're talking about a multi thousand dollar ethereum like ethereum at 10k ethereum at 6k whatever it is 15k then obviously this would have to go up in accordance to that so bear that in mind have that on your radar um, another coin that we we would talk about is bio finance so bio finance it has gone on an absolute tear i missed 
the initial getting um, my funds were locked up but if we are to look at Bao Finance really quickly and this is against wrapped ether but the same still applies so ultimately it's coming down it's good hopefully you haven't bought at the top in terms of key areas i would say below the 21 day ema and your golden um if it bounces off of it then yeah potentially another good entry that would be linked with the 0.786 fib level which is around seven thousand guay or so seven thousand ethereum I, no not ethereum seven thousand guay let's let's say that uh the 0.618 to the point five i.e the golden pocket would be around six thousand gray to around five thousand gray which is definitely possible and if you wanted to be ultra conservative and sort of get in at a very very good entry price then that could be a good time um ultimately it's it's gone in an absolute tear guys um i know you can't change the past but let's just look at hypothetical gains that we missed out on so we missed out on a freaking 280 free x which is just nuts <laughs> um but yeah if you are looking to for coins that did what bow did then let's go back okay so excuse me 4th of january okay 4th of january this coin let's look at the market cap on the 4th of january so the market cap on the 4th of january was around shit so it was very very tiny it was 600,000 that that's like a unicorn um it slowly just started trading up and started trading up as so um yeah if you wanted to be really 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 risky you could look at coins that have under 5 million market cap because if they pop guys that's basically a lottery ticket like look at that 120 130x basically if you put in a k you'd come out with 130k um Bear in mind, there are no guarantees in crypto, guys. Like this is this is a super rare find, a super super rare find. So bear that in mind. Uh, I'm rhyming unintentionally. Um, so yeah, another the the last coin we'll we'll look at is Acropolis. And I'm sorry, guys, if the format of my my videos isn't so good. I have taken a break. I am a bit rusty, and I'm also new to the crypto market. So please bear that in mind. But I'm doing my absolute best. Um, if you are interested in trading, which is my primary primary focus, excuse me, then I would first of all look at my link tree in the description. You get a link to Binance or Bybit and Femex as well. You can get discount of trading fees and you could do stuff like this and like this where you get like crazy gains basically. Um, I could potentially go over how to trade in like future videos if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, without making this video too long, let us let us look at sorry, um, Acropolis against USDT. So it's had its tear. This coin, guys, this coin, okay, it's still small. It's still small. Look, you think that you've you've missed the boat, but the coin is small. It's just twice as big as Bow Finance, okay. Um, just probably last week or so, maybe it was around the same size as Bow Finance. Let's just double check that. Yeah, so just last week or so, it was the same size as Bow Finance, and then it just went on an absolute tear. This coin is a Polkadot coin, guys. A lot of hype. There is a lot of hype, sorry, around the Polkadot ecosystem. So if you did want to learn how to hunt down Polkadot gems, then you could click on Acropolis, go here, click on Sugar Honey Ice Tea. You click on Polkadot ecosystem, and then you have yourself a wide array of coins to pick from. So you have... All of these coins basically that are co-integrated with the Polkadot ecosystem. Um, yeah, you have a, a wide range to choose from. Market caps being, you know, 100 million all the way down to 60 million. You you, get, you guys get the picture. Obviously, the lower down you go, the more risky, but the higher the potential gains. Like this coin here, for example, Spider Dow. If this coin is to pick up, you'll be laughing. You'll be laughing. Um, but yeah, okay, back to the TA. Okay, so we are within the golden pocket which is this area here will we hold it who knows the macd has just torn bullish and it's just it's just gone to new paradigms okay um ultimately if this trend line or this 21 day 
EMA is to hold we could potentially you know see something like that however that is just purely speculative so what you'd hope for is potential sideways trade uh, trading for the next couple of days or so and potential wick down to around the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level if you set a limit order on Binance you know you could catch the wick and then it, it could continue going to the upside um, in terms of market cap what I don't actually I'm not going to go over what this coin does you guys would have to do individual research but um, it's to do, it's basically to do with buying and lending and under collateralized under collateralized loans um, it's quite unique in its um, conception so it's something to have a look at it is quite down in comparison to its all-time high the all-time high was around 0.06 cent so it's down 33 percent from there so if you wanted to get in i don't know potentially good time um but in comparison to where it's been in the past the sugar yeah um so yeah maybe wait until the fib sort of retraces but i say this guys but you know it's alt season like I don't, I don't think these coins will go to zero like anytime soon um after the bull run yeah a lot of them are going to retrace a lot but now is the time to take risks guys like that, that's all i have to say now is the time to take risks um i hope this video has been somewhat helpful in terms of you know looking at the coins that are trending right now coins that haven't moved yet um some of some of the coins i mentioned are you know coins like in yesterday's video at least parsic um coins like idol so yeah i hope you found value in today's video guys if you have any constructive criticism please let me know and um, yeah, I hope to see you in later videos. So see ya. Bye.